Now with 100% more ducks. Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farmer here. And I'm on the FTOG Avant 3 server, hanging out here at my Botania basement and storage area. And I'm gonna do a little something different here, something I've not done before. Sort of. Because uh, let's take a quick look at my inventory here. I've got some bits and bobs here for making something, and I've not done this guy before, so you and you and you and you and you and then you. There it is. The Narslimus. Narslimus? Narslimus. Uh, this little guy, it's sticky. Uh, that's kind of gross. Let's add one of those, and now it's a floater. What does this Narslimus do? It eats slimes. So let's go up. Uh, and let's run over through here. Hey, Frank. And uh, let's come over to this area here. And yeah, I've not patched this up since like forever because lazy. And this little slime in a bottle here that I was given by Link is detecting this as a slime chunk. So let's take a look at the chunks. Clickety clickety. This little chunk right here that I'm in, that is a slime chunk. So I'm going to dig my way down. Um, hopefully not that far down. Let's uh, not break into my environmental controller. I want to get to level 40. Oh, there it is. There's the corner. I, I want to get to, to level 40 because 40 is the top of where the slimes don't spawn anymore. Uh, 39 and on down they will spawn. So let's go down to 40. <laughs> A little bit more, 26, 24, 40, 42, 41, 40. Okay, so 39, 38. Okay, so this then, uh, that's 40 there. That should be 38, that's 39, 40. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and rip through here. And let's plug out the size of this. I want to say cube and stack and no, it's a chunk. That's what it is. So quick choppy choppy choppy. And I'm going to use some RF tools magic to go ahead and chew out the rest of this. Whoops, too far. Boink. And I'm going to have to go bigger than the, the chunk, but we'll do the chunk for right now. And what I want to do is, since this is a slime chunk, the the idea is to go ahead and, oh, too far, uh, is to set up a slime mob farm that will go ahead and produce plenty of slimes, funnel them down to a, where the Narslimus uh, flower is, and then it's going to go ahead and do the job of chewing everything up. So move some of these things away. All right, so there's my builder. Let's put the builder right there. Alrighty, and so it's gonna need some room to put stuff, and we'll put the diamond chest on top. Spiffy. And I don't have a lever on me. Oh, I need any sort of redstone, certain. Do I have any redstone on me? I have no redstone on me. Well, let's first go ahead and define the clearing. Uh, nope, no, no, no. Before I do, that's a cylinder. I don't want a cylinder. I want, let's see, can I shift click? You can only do this on a builder. I thought I could uh, shift click to, to designate areas. Well, fine. I'll just do this. Let's void all of, nah, I gotta void everything. I don't care. All right. So, uh, I want to do 16 by 16. And vertically, let's go ahead and do 40, 40. And then offset, let's say negative 21 so that it goes down. And then it needs to go over one and over one. And I don't know how much. Oh, let's come back. You are, I'm right clicking you, thank you. Uh, I want to do a solid, box. There we go. All right, so let's slap that in you. Let's go ahead and toggle that. Do I see anything? You know, I don't see a blooming thing. Are you going this direction? Maybe? 
I'm gonna need this sort of space over here anyway, so I'm, I'm okay with digging out like crazy. Okay, so it's going the wrong direction. So let's go ahead and, and this is where I'm not quite sure. See, that's negative, that's negative, and I want it to go the negative. So let's do negative 16. I said 16. And let's do negative 16. And let's bring you up one. Alrighty, how are you now? I don't see a thing. All right, so that's probably going that direction. <sighs> trial and error is the worst type of trial. I clicked you. Shoot. I, um, I, I must do it in the air. That's got to be what I'm looking for. Okay, let's just have an offset of zero there. All right, and let's just take some stuff below you so I know where you are. All right, on off. What the? Okay, so the up and down is perfect. So that's just fine. So let's go ahead then and switch these. Right click in the air, not on something. So let's go ahead and now let's keep you at zero. And let's bring you to zero. You know. There's a way to do this easier, and uh, I should have done that. Okay, so it's going that direction. Let's uh, what, what, what? There we go. Let's toggle that again. Nope. On off. Okay, so you are not enough that way. So. I'm going to go ahead and fiddle faddle with this off screen because you don't need to see it, do you? Right? Right. You don't need to see this. Alrighty. I think I've got it. So I've got the hole up there so I can access the chest. Nothing in it. I uh, got this set up here. It's just inside the. Here. Yeah, see, it's just inside this chunk. So that's working out very nicely. And let's go ahead and. Toggle that back on and off again. So at this point, it's ready to go. So begin. Oh, that's always so much fun to, to watch that thing go. And okay, so this is getting all the non stuff. So alrighty. Choo 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 choo. So much easier than doing this manually because that would be such a pain. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and turn that off. And yeah, we're gonna have to uh, do something here with the, the lava because yeah, yep, yep, need to do something there. Uh, because I need to chew out <laughs> the, the tree frame went uh, far farther down than I expected it to. I need to expand this a few more. It needs to be at least three bigger in all directions. So that's the, the next thing to do and that should chew up a bunch of those. And where's my power? There's my power. Let's go ahead and slap that right there. And see, I that's that. Let's set it to grok power. Let's look at the config. Energy is eject on all. So did you get power? Yes. Okay. So that works. Nice. All right. So now I got to recalculate this again. So uh, let's do three bigger. Um, 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 no, 16 wide, it's got to be 6 bigger, so that's going to be 22, and 22, and, um, you know, I don't know. Let's go ahead and say plus 3, so it's half of what it was. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and turn that on there and let's see what the what it looks like uh, that's not so useful uh, da, 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 da. okay so that's way too far so how far out one two three four five six okay so I need to 
bring that in. You know, math on screen is always dangerous. So let's grab you. Uh, oh, 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 hey. If I got it centered on this, I don't need to change that at all if I change this dimension stuff here. So let's go ahead and toggle you back on. Now we'll check. So one, two, and over here, you are one, two, and there's the three, and then one, two, and there's a three. So yes, I believe that will do all I need, and that should get rid of much of that lava there. So begin. Alrighty, so, oh, there goes the centerpiece of the school. Oh, there's that. This is always just so much fun, just watching it go like crazy. Zoom. Alrighty, so that, is it all done? No. No, there's still some stuff that needs to be done over here. Yeah, you need to be done. Alright, it, it, it looks weird that it's like not quite done. All right, I need to get some some water and make this lava into obsidian and do this again. So how are you for coolness? Oh, got a few random bits and bobs here. Nice. All right, so I'm going to go get some water because I've got a bucket. Do I have a bucket? I had a bucket. I has a bucket right there, but I don't have any water. So I'm going to go find me some water and make some obsidian and then uh, make this thing happen. Okay, so we're closer to getting this done and I am so happy not to have to do this manually, let me tell you. So right down there, I have a single layer at bedrock top. So let's go ahead and I went ahead and switched this to a shape card. So this should be not quarrying it out, but placing it. And I've got just alabaster here because it's nice and bright. So let's go ahead and place the alabaster. Cool. Now, the problem is slimes don't spawn there on on that. They, they won't spawn on bedrock. Nothing spawns on bedrock. So I need at least two layers above that. So let's go ahead and edit this. I said this, that right there. So let's make it too thick. And let's raise it up two, and let's change the dimension down six. So that was back to 16 and 16. And if I did it right, then let's go ahead. Do I have two? Up, oh, I went up two, so I, I need to keep it where it was. So let's check to make sure that it is right in the the slime area, that's that's the little slimy area. See, there's a little slime is bouncing away. So this is it. So it needs to go down too. Alrighty. Let's do that. Fiddle, 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 fiddle. Down two. Test. And perfect. Uh, the reason why I'm having it down two is so that any slimes up here that fall down to these channels will get redirected and they won't be able to hop back up. So that's why I'm doing that. Let's go ahead and put that in place. And technically I don't have to fill it up, but I can do that. All right, so that's done. And we still have Eh, some alabaster left. Uh, so this now is a slime spawning area. There, there's no light in here. If we take a quick look, uh, yep, plenty of uh, darkness for all sorts of mobs to to spawn in here, which is not what I want. But it should allow slimes to start spawning. Now the next thing, the next layer for slimes needs to be three blocks higher than this, and only one high. So let's see if I can calculate that. So only one high and it needs to be three higher. So that's going to be one. Nope. All right. And let's <laughs> trust, but verify, always check your math. So this is only two blocks high. So that needs to go up one more because it is just 
as you adjust the thickness. So, one last one. All right, so you need to be 30, 30, there we go. And at this point, I'm not gonna do it anymore. Oh, and out of alabaster. All righty, I'm gonna need to snag a whole bunch of alabaster from spawn, because that was all the alabaster I had. But again, uh, the very, very large slimes should spawn in here. And I don't think this is actually a loaded chunk from my base. I think no, because this is right there on the corner. And I think this is outside the chunk. Okay, let me, that's, no, it's, it's gotta be within loaded chunks because this is. So it's a three by three. So that is a loaded chunk. The drawback, though, is that, hey, slime, vindication. So, uh, plus creepers, but, you know, who cares about creepers? Uh, so what I need, uh, you know, I don't necessarily want them to die as they fall through. I want them to actually survive. Hmm... Oh well, I will I will ponder it on that because I was thinking of using vector plates to move them around, but I, the 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 big ones are gonna fall and die, and I I I want I want live ones. I want big ones. You know, I may have to water channels would prevent them from dying, but that means raising up the the channels a whole bunch more, and I, I really would like to not do that, but. Uh, Oh well, so I'm going to go ahead and get several things off screen. I'm going to go ahead and get uh, a whole bunch more alabaster and light this up so that uh, the, the mobs uh, that other than slimes uh, won't spawn in here. And then I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to have to do some water tracery here to move them around. It's not as fast as vector plates, but the benefit is that as these guys jump on down, there should be a whole lot fewer deaths. Yeah, I really didn't want to use water, but oh well, gonna have to. Alrighty, so I think this is done. Well, at least the, the slime farm construction piece is done. So what I've got, if we bounce up and go down, we've got a whole bunch of, of platforms for the slimes to spawn on. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so eight platforms, not bad. Uh, this right here is on Y36. I could, because 39 would also work, but that would be a too high here, so none of the tall slimes would appear. And eh, I, I don't care. Uh, what I have done is I've put some painted glowstone in here. There's uh, five of them on each of these floors. And then these torches here light up the last little bit. So nothing should spawn here. I went ahead and ran the card the, to go ahead and close up all the holes. So can I slide through here? Yeah, I can. Okay, so there might be a few other mobs coming through, but I think they're all lit up here. And everything should go to that corner. So let me show you what I did here. If you've never seen a, a slime farm done, I, I did have to bump this up because this layer here is one higher than the rest, just so that the, the water flow would work right. So I have a single water block right here that splits off into two. So if a mob is right here, let's, let's go all the way into the corner. So if, if a slime happens to jump all the way to this corner, they're gonna get pushed to this corner and then either go left or right. Uh, left, yep, okay. So they're gonna get slid over to here and then these stairs will push them up and then this new source block will push them on down and then I've got a second one really fast here. These stairs push them up, source block pushes on down because I need a full eight source blocks or sort water blocks to come over to here. Uh, I, I could have done a little bit different with more signs, but eh, just perfect to push me over to here. And if they anybody falls over there, these water blocks will push over here. There's three source blocks here, three source blocks here on each of these little spots. And you can see it just keeps pushing me along. And this will do the same for 
all mobs. I've had all sorts of uh, skeletons and zombies and spiders and whatnot being pushed along through here. And that will push these guys over to here, and then they get pushed into this corner. And the exact same thing happens over on the other end. The benefit of this, even though I, I really wanted the vector plates because they're super fast and speedy, uh, the problem though is little slimes, if they were to come over, boom, they'd be dead. And then because of the dark, uh, not dark, dark utilities, um, evil craft, I think it is, that when they fall, something falls to a death, it uh, leaves a little blood stain. And so that would cause issues here with the uh, vector plates. So we have to do this with the water. But that means any slime spawning on any of these levels will fall into these water channels and get pushed right to here. So let's go ahead then and go dunkity dunkity dunkity. And let's make a little room here. Uh, it is possible. Freak. Uh, it is possible. Oh, hey, 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 <laughs> right there. We have ourselves a big slime. So let's go ahead and grab my floating slime flower and let's put that doink right on top of that and break that. And you can see its range includes this entire little spot here. So let's go ahead and hurry up this. Let's put the spreader right on top because, you know, why not? And let's put the mana pool right there. Doink. And then if we can do this faster than the guy can come. And you need to connect to that. All right. So what should happen is he comes close to us in the brain. Zap. And gone. And he is filling this pool up with mana. <laughs> Isn't that kind of cool? There. See? Hey. Leave me alone, guys. Oh, does this need to be down one? Oh, you know, I think this guy needs to be down one. Yep, 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 yep. All right, so because you can see these guys aren't being picked up by by him. All right, fine. Death, 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 death. More death. Lots of... Oh, I don't want to be breaking blocks. I wonder if there's a, a, a cooldown on on the uh, Narslimus. Narslimus? Narslimus? Whatever. So let's go ahead and take you and put you right there. Go away. So that, let's check that's going up to here. That should go into there. Cool. I've read about the flower. I've never done anything with them before. Hence uh, doing this now just for, for fun. And you know, it kind of really works. So let's block that up, block that up. And I don't think anything's going to bounce through here. That should consume those. And let's break a little bit more here. Let's close that up, close that up there. Oh, yeah, this side here. And let's take these mana pools. And where's my sparks? Spark, 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 spark. And then let's put a recessive spark on this guy. And that should shove all the mana this has into these other pools. So that should run dry as soon as it's done all its thing. It may have just so little amount that it still remains. So this should slowly fill up with mana as slimes appear. What do you think? Kind of cool? I think that's kind of cool. Uh, you know, I might make a second one just to put in here so nothing can come through because uh, I I it seemed like the other the, the big one got chewed up but uh, the the smaller ones didn't so I'm not quite sure what happened with that hey hi there big guy would you like to fall over the edge so did the big guy get consumed by the flower uh, you know I don't know Let's uh, zip, ouch. <laughs> so these guys, they're on the same height as this flower. Uh, does it have a timeout? 
I don't, I don't know. So these all have a little bit of men in them. Here, let's for for the nonce, let's remove these. Hey, I clicked you there. So let's take and pick up all these guys. So it's just going here into this mana pool. So these guys should all be eaten up. Let's read our Lexica Botanica. So functional flora. Uh, mar you know, I've drawn a blank up. Narslimus. Nar, 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 nar. Oh, it's a generating flana. It is not a... Uh, so, blah, blah, blah. It makes slimes. Tap it. It plays near swine. It will destroy it. Oh. Here's an interesting thing. If placed down near a slime created by that power, meaning the slime blocks, it'll destroy it, collecting the mana, dump it in the larger slime. The more, it also makes a bit of sticky mess. My guess is that these guys, because they were not created by the slime chunk, they were created by the slime. Ah, when it broke apart. So, that's not good. That's not good, is it? These guys should be going away. But they're not. So, how do we... It, you know, is that a a new change? Because that's kind of sucky. Because these little guys, they were all spawned by the slime chunk. Uh, I didn't drop them in, nothing else. But they did appear because I broke them down, or the, the flower broke them down. So that's not good. Because that kind of breaks the whole functionality of this. Um, hmm. How how can we test this? I'm thinking. Well, we we saw that guy fall down and he broke. Um, I guess it will only consume the 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 one, and that's it. So any subsequent smaller ones will not get consumed, which means they're gonna kick around here till they despawn which is less than useful. Uh, the other option is to set this up as, so it's a drowning trap. So let's break that and let's, where's my, there's that. And let's put that on the underside here. And then let's break all those, break that. Actually, no, we should just need those four there. That should take care of it because if you've got a super big sized one that comes flying in, then it will go ahead and die and you should have been replaced. Uh, so a big one will come in, get consumed, break into the smaller ones, which... No, they set it up now that they swim. Okay, so this is uh, far less uh, exciting than I thought it would be, which is a, it's a shame. But I, I have made one and it, it's got some, some cool capabilities here. It's just uh, not as, as cool as it really could be. Well, that kind of bites. It, this should be consuming all, all uh, slimes of all types instead of just the ones that are spawned by the server chunks. Yes, that means you could make a spawner, a slime spawner, using a multitude of different stuff, and that would generate mana for you. And quite a big amount of mana for the, the great big slimes and less for the smallers. But um, it's not really worth it. Hmm. Oh well. At least we we found something out, and we made something, and we've actually got a slime farm here. Uh, you know, I, I can go ahead and change that. Uh, dunk, dunk, 
to, to change this into a, a different sort of a slime killer. I could put down some vector plates, not vector plates, but uh, some spike plates here. So all the slime, when they come in, they'll die. And then I'll have some hoppers and stuff like that to do it because this sucks. All right, let's go do that. Let's go do that. And I don't need to fly up. I can recall back. Okay, so I need something to grab the bits that are there. So having done the the Botania stuff and it not working for us, let's go ahead and use other technology. I don't need you. So let's go ahead and make a vacuum chest. Need one of you. Alrighty. I just like vacuum chests. Vacuum chests are cool. So then I need some spike plates. I've got six here. Let's make another one. Oh, do I need what? What's that? Oh, just a heavy plate. Let's go ahead and make two. All right, that will give me eight, and I don't need to make anything more. Okie dokie. Nope, 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 nope. Before we go, let's grab. Let's grab the a chest, and just a regular chest will do because we really don't need the stuff now, do we? Nope. And uh, some item conduit. All right. So now we've got something that will actually function in. And punk. And dunk. All right, so let's take. You can go away, and 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 you can go away. You can go away. All right, and then I need some alabaster because we're gonna close up the floor here, and I've got plenty. Okay, so let's go. You, you. You, a uh, you, and now the question is: Will water affect these spike plates? I don't know. Ha ha. The answer: No, no, it will not. So those guys will come into here. They'll get uh, spiked by this guy, cause uh, some damage, and they will make ouchy noises and uh, die. Let's get a torch just to light up this area back here. Seal the death chamber off. Uh, it's not really a death chamber because it's not killing anything here. But uh, we'll go ahead and put that. No, no, we're going to have to put you into the wall because slimes will drop on top of it and uh, that would be a problem. Okay, so this I don't think can directly output into a chest. Uh, range 6 probably far more than I really need for uh, it's still more than I really need let's try three ta-da okay so anything that dies here which should be all the slimes it'll suck right up and it'll just run so let's go ahead and put a item conduit here and set that for always active and let's break that and where's my chest there's my chest right there and you will go in and if I had a half slab on me soon to have a half slab oh actually I don't need a half slab uh, nope I got rid of my stairs so let's make a half slab all right so that way nothing can oh turn that off so that way nothing can fall into there but we can still open that up and we're good to go so anything that falls in bloop we get uh, carried along and sucked in oh <laughs> got sucked in by my magnet all right so it it should work spit are you not gonna for oh are you not moving along no that still pushes 
I guess items don't get pushed to nearly as much as, as uh, other entities get pushed. So I probably don't need these plates because these will, um, everything will be pushed into there and so that should kill them. Alrighty. Any slime spawning in here? I don't see it. So we learned something. We learned that uh, the Botania Slimer, let's see, the Narslimus, not so good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and log an issue with that saying the fact that it only consumes the one that's produced by the slime chunk and not all slimes makes it completely useless. Yeah, because uh, otherwise it, it, I would have so many other slimes kicking around and why would I care? You know, I, I could ugh, I could put you know the spike plates and drop them a little bit lower and yeah yeah no not 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 good. However, this slime farm actually works. It it does produce slimes. I built this on Vanilla Worlds and it goes like gangbusters. Uh, you just need to be a player close enough that the the, the slimes will spawn. So you got to be within loaded chunks or. Uh, you got to be within uh, 120 some odd uh, blocks of the farm and it'll work and slimes just keep bouncing now the recent change would make them so that they would change directions but eventually they'll hit the edge and fall off the edge and go splat all the way down there and then the water trap just moves them along to the center and um yeah they're they're gonna make me uh, some some slime goodness not that i need it but I got it done. All right, so slime farm, check, all done. Botany method of killing them, eh, not so good. <laughs> but we learned something. Anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here on the FTOG Avant 3 server, having fun with a little bit of a slime farm fail. And I hope you had fun too. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.